Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well guys, winter's back. <laughs> what a nice surprise because we were headed for a serious drought and we still may be having a drought. But uh, up high, there's about 10 inches of fresh snow. I didn't want to uh, try, try to take my truck up there this morning because I'm not sure if I'd get back out of there. But there's about five inches where I'm at now and it's in the 20s, so it's nice and cold. I got my uh, big heavy jacket on today. And I am going to uh, show you guys, unveil if you will, my new sleep system for my uh, bug out slash get home pack. Over the past year, I experimented with just about everything uh, from canvas tarps, wool blankets, sleeping bags, um, jungle blankets, jungle bags, just all different kinds of combinations, reflective blankets, uh, space blankets, you name it, and various combinations of all of those mentioned. Looking for a system that was lightweight, because it's going to be on, you know, a go bag, get home bag, or bug out bag, and it needed to be lightweight but it needed to be able to keep me warm it, it couldn't be something that was just for the summer or spring or fall and i have found that system i'm about ready to show you guys to that and then i'm gonna actually go throw it i got a tarp laying out on the snow i'm gonna throw it right down in the snow crawl inside it and uh just just to demo you guys i've tried this system out and it works. It's surprisingly how warm it keeps me. So, lightweight, compact, can be used in all seasons. I don't need a tent. All I need is a tarp. I can throw it in a hammock. I can throw it underneath a tarp. Um, put some layers of boughs down for a little extra padding. Whatever. Here we go. Attached to my pack, starting right here, I have a Gore-Tex military sleeping bag uh, bivy or cover, if you will. It's windproof, waterproof, Gore-Tex. Rolled up inside this is my Swagman roll. Okay, it's I I took the uh, and you'll see it. I'll unroll it for you guys over here. But I took the Gore-Tex bivy and uh, laid it out. Laid my Swagman roll right inside of it and then just rolled it up and it's attached right here to the back of my pack. That's lightweight, compact, yet it's windproof, waterproof on the outside with that nice insulation on the inside. Other piece right here on the bottom, something I just picked up and really, really like. This, the brand is Redman, uh, or is it Red Camp? <laughs> I'm going to put it in the description, guys, because I don't want to mess it up. Um, Red Camp. Okay, there it is right there. I don't know why I got it mixed up with Red Man. Sorry about that. It's Red Camp. It's on Amazon. It's six feet long, so it's my full body, 22 inches wide, so my shoulders... When I lay on my back, both shoulders are on it, and it's reflective on one side. Now, in my experimenting, um, a shout out to Modern Refugee, as I was dialing in my kit, uh, I discovered a way to use this to dramatically add warmth to the swag Swagman Roll and Bivy Cover. So we're going to go over here, we're going to get right down in the snow, again it's in the 20s out here, and I'm going to show you guys how I set this up and crawl inside it and uh, do my best to tell you how warm and comfortable it really is. So, Alright, let me pause you, we got to move locations. Okay guys, I got my tarp laid out right here on top of the snow. So actually the only insulation I'm gonna have from the ground is this. But again, I'm about to show you a cool trick that really dramatically adds to the warmth of this setup. Okay.
as I said, my swagman roll is rolled up right inside of the uh, military bivy cover. Military bivy bag. Turn that around. And open that up. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my reflective pad and I'm going to put it inside the bivy. Rather than putting it under the bivy, I'm putting it inside the bivy with me. Now it's a tight fit down towards the feet and I gotta bend it. There we go. Taking my boots off. We're gonna do this for real. All right, I'm gonna crawl down inside here. I'm gonna pull my Swagman roll inside, wrap it up all around me. I'm not gonna try to get inside it with the zipper because I'm too wide at the shoulders, I can't do that. But I can wrap it all around me and under my feet, under my legs. Having this reflective pad inside the bag reflects my heat back up on me. My body heat gets trapped between the Swagman roll and the Gore-Tex liner and stays in there and it is warm. All right, here we go. And open this up. And I'm going to take this inside with me. Well, let's go the other way here. Is that how I... Nope. Sorry about that. Okay, that's what I want. Tucking that underneath my feet. Wrapping around my legs. And then I'm gonna start zipping myself up inside here. I'm sliding all over the place on this snow. <laughs> Nice. 
All right. I'm gonna turn here. Gotta work that swag and roll around me. There we go, I got it around my legs, around my back. Just bear with me for a minute. So that is warm. Try to get over here a little bit where you guys can see me better. That is warm. So this reflective pad is reflecting my body heat back up. But my body heat is getting caught under the Swagman roll and this Gore-Tex uh, bivy cover. Now, I wouldn't just be laying out here like this. I would be under a tarp or some kind of natural shelter in this weather with a little fire going out here in front of me, which would be reflecting heat in. And so it would be warmer inside this shelter than it would be outside. But even with that, right now, my feet, okay, my feet are wrapped up inside and I've got that uh, pad shoved down so my feet are on the pad. My feet are comfortable. My body right now, of course, I'm cold up here because I'm back exposed, but my hips, my legs, everything, I got that blanket wrapped around me is, is comfortable. I'm not um, hot, but I'm not cold. It's just comfortable. and. A lot of trial and error, a lot of back to that uh, term modern refugee just used on a on a video of dialing in. But I've been out here testing and experimenting. And uh, this is how you find out. Go to the extreme. This is actually a step beyond what I would do. Again, when I stay out here, I'll stay under a tarp or in some type of a shelter. Or if I really want to rough it, I'll climb inside of a tent. <laughs> but I don't just ever throw a tarp out on the bare snow. So I'm testing the extreme. Am I comfortable right now? My hips. There's nothing between uh, the cold of the ground. This little thin tarp is doing nothing. Between my hips, my thighs, my legs. There's nothing between the cold of the ground except for that pad inside the bivy and it's working great because my hips are pushing down and right now I can tell you that the warmest place on my body is my hip on my right side where it's pushing down against that pad. Yep. And I have everything wrapped around me and it feels good in here. So an ongoing, uh, I want to call it a problem for me over this past year uh, when I would come out and try all these different systems, the ones that would keep me warm were the ones that were way too bulky and way too heavy to put on a get home bag when I wanted to, you know, travel light and fast. And on the other side, the ones that uh, were light and simple, I would freeze in. I finally found a combination that works. So, uh, 
The military bivvies are expensive. Uh, this is not an official military brand. It's one of those um, aftermarket uh, brands that's made to military specs, but it's been working fantastic. And of course that is the Swagman roll that I got wrapped around me in here. If you've got a smaller body, you could probably put the Swagman roll inside, use it like a sleeping bag, zip yourself up inside of it. But um, this is how I would sleep. My pants, my socks, my uh, wool long johns, my stocking cap, tuck myself down inside here, pull the hood up, and settle in for the night. And again, my body's warm. My body's warm and comfortable. And when my head's down in here, it is too. So guys, if you're looking for a sleep system that's lightweight, windproof, waterproof, compacts that you can attach to the outside of a pack really easy and will keep you warm, I've found it. Thanks for watching Ochoco Bushcraft. Take care, guys.